Welcome to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch and would like to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online, click on the link in the description below to buy it at jazztime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak self-winding 37 millimeter stainless steel with a silver dial reference 15550ST.00.1356ST.01 or 05. This one happens to be the 50th anniversary, but the review is the same whether it's a 50th or 51st or 52nd because the only difference is the rotor on the back that shows a 50th versus a rotor that just shows the word AP. Okay, so let's start and talk about this one in particular. It's going to be the same as I said, and I'm going to talk to you about the bezel dial case bracelet movement, try it on, and also give you a little history and my thoughts and give you some um, reference to what else or what this used to be, its uh, predecessor, and what it is now. Okay, so a little history lesson. So let's start. This watch is the 37 millimeter Royal Oak. Now AP, Audemars Piguet, makes their Royal Oaks in many, many different sizes. For women, they make it in 33, 34, and 37. For men, they make it in 37, 41, and a few other complicated ones that are even bigger. But basically for men, it's 37 or 41. Now you'll notice that I said both men and women had the 37 and why is that is because there's a slight overlap which is very common in other brands as well if you look at paddock or uh, rolex they also have overlapping watches because men and women can have similar wrist sizes a woman can have a large wrist a man could have a small wrist and they could similarly wear uh, both a 37. so ap has thought of that and so the 37 is placed at a position where a woman who wants to wear large watches, which, by the way, is in fashion at the moment, so some people like to do to do that, and they can they can do that with a 37 millimeter. But some men who don't have a very large wrist, I'm going to say that if you have a wrist size of seven inches or smaller, then you should consider a 37 millimeter. If you have a wrist size of seven inches or larger, then you should probably be wearing a 41. Okay, and likewise, if you're, I would say, if you're a woman with a 6.5 inch wrist uh, or larger, then you can wear a 37. That should be okay for you. But, and you like to wear large watches, that is. If you have a smaller wrist than that, probably you should be wearing the 34. Okay, so with that said, this watch is kind of a unisex watch. Uh, it can be worn by either a man or a woman. Although I would probably have to say for women though, I would prefer the same thing, but with diamonds, diamonds on the bezel. So they make the exact same thing in all the same colors, but they put a diamond bezel on it. Uh, actually, I don't know if they make one in, in a silver dial with a diamond bezel, but they make it in the other dials with uh, a diamond bezel. And I think that is much nicer for women and I don't think it's nicer for men. No diamonds for men, in my opinion. Okay, so this watch is 37 millimeters. From my thumb to my index fingers, that's eight o'clock to the to the two o'clock position. That's the longest distance across the bezel. Now the case itself is 37, and it's really a quite a good size for those who have a smaller wrist, that is. And if you look at the thickness, okay, let me turn it on its side. You can see that it has a 9.1 millimeter thickness, which, to give you some reference as well, a date just is 12 millimeters, which is considered average. Anything less than 10 is considered uh, thin, and any, anything less than 8 is considered extra thin. This being 9 is considered thin. So why is it important to have a thin watch? Well, it makes the watch much less cumbersome to wear, It, which is a practical aspect you should think of. And also, it fits under the suit cuff. Um, so in, in all... Um, practical, practically speaking, the thickness is probably number one or two in, uh, factor that's going to help you determine if this watch is going to be comfortable for you. 
probably the first one is the diameter, which is the 37, but the second would be the thickness. And this thickness being 9.1, excellent. You don't want it too thin. Like seven or six, that's too thin. It's gonna, it like, you, you feel like you could snap it with your fingers. So it's too thin. Okay, anyways, that, I also wanna bring your attention, since we're talking about the case, to the polishing on this case. It, it's done to perfection. Now the top of it is satin finished, the sides of it are a high polish with these beveled, beautiful beveled edges that ex extend down the length of the bracelet so that the watch has a cohesive look throughout. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about the bezel. The bezel, I would say, is AP's most iconic look. It was made by Gerald Genta in 1972, and it continues to be the um, an iconic look. I believe, I th as many others do, actually it's pretty much known that AP started the luxury sports watch class. Before that, nobody did that. Did uh, had a luxury sports watch class. AP was the first to start it, which is not that surprising considering that they're a very avant-garde, uh, forward-thinking company. But soon after, many other companies followed, such as Patek with their Nautilus, um, uh, Gerard Perigo with their Loreto, and who else? Vacheron Constantine with their Overseas. And many, many more. I think um, Piaget with their polo. Plenty of people have started that trend that looked very similar, but the origin original watch was the AP Royal Oak, which is what you see here. This is why I believe the AP Royal Oak is the best sports watch on the market. Okay. Anyways, so that is let's so the bezel itself. What makes it so special? Well, it's an octagonal bezel. It looks round, which it kind of is, but the outer edge of it is an octagon. So it has this porthole. And as I heard, Gerald Genta was using the kind of a, a helmet of a scuba diver to have this uh, inspiration to make the Royal Oak. And if you kind of look at it, you can see how that that uh, that came to be. And you have these he uh, nice hexagonal screws here, eight of them. And they're not actually screws because you can't turn the hexagonal screw. You actually have to turn it in from the back. So the screw goes in from the back. The hexagonal screw is actually the acceptor. It's not the part that screws. But it looks like a screw, right? So this it's aesthetic. And you'll notice that the bezel is high polished on the edges on the beveled edge that is and you'll notice that the top is satin finished and you'll also notice that it has a rubber gasket it's all exposed now you would think that why would you expose the rubber gasket well you know anytime you put two pieces of metal together you have to have uh rubber in between them to hold make sure that it stays watertight and i guess they just they wanted to make it look very sporty in that way they, they could have concealed it but they didn't okay anyways uh it's just a beautiful amazing design okay uh, okay, let's talk about the dial. Now, you know, I was just checking the AP website, and as of 2023, you know what? The silver one is actually removed. I was I was surprised. So this is actually a discontinued dial. Now, it looks white. Basically, to me, I'll call it a white dial. I'll call it a black dial or a white dial. This one looks white. But the website says it's silver-toned, silver, with a grand tapisserie pattern and white gold applied hour markers and royal oak hands with luminescent coating. Okay, basically that means <clears throat> the hands and the hour markers, they're all made in white gold. And in the center of that, it's a luminescent coating, which is basically loom so that you can see it at night. So when I shine this light at the dial, you can see that it lights up quite well. And that's no surprise because AP is a, it's a very practical watch, even though it's a very expensive watch. and and part of practicality means that you can read it at night okay and of course it has a date here nothing really special it's a three-hand watch uh hour minute second and date nothing that special about that but it has its typical ap grand tapestry pattern if you look at the it's a kind of like a waffle design and if you look even closer in between the waffles you'll see these little dots and um it's, it's just really quite beautiful i i think they make one of the best dials in the business okay so that's the dial now oh before i forget 
So yes, I was checking the AP website, and they don't make this silver dial. They make a sky blue dial. They make a gray one. They make a dark blue. But gone are is the white dial. I, I was very surprised to see that gone. So that means if you want to buy this great uh, uh, silver dial or white dial, you have to go to jazztime.com. And you can do so by clicking on the link in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Okay. All right. So anyways, that's the dial. It's silver. Let's, and now let's move on to the next thing, which is, I guess it would be the, the bracelet. Now the bracelet is a 1356 bracelet. Now that succeeds the previous bracelet which was a 1256 st bracelet now you can tell by looking that's the second part of the reference number at, if you uh look at the reference number of this watch now what does that mean well the older bracelet the older bracelet was a bit thicker and it did not have the same uh if you look at it on its side it didn't slope down like this it was it it was flared out a little bit more, which made the watch sit not as ergonomically nice as it does now. So the new bracelet, which is what you're looking at here, this 1356 ST bracelet is the newer bracelet. It has a better slope to it. It's also a bit thinner and it just fits the watch a little bit better. As far as the polishing, it's still the same. It still has this beveled edge, high polish on the side that runs down from the case and throughout the bracelet it looks like one cohesive unit and it also has high polish in between these center links it's uh i believe ap has made the best bracelet on the market i don't think anyone else has makes one even close not even patek philippe their nautilus bracelets are good but they're not as good as the ap anyways okay so that's the bracelet now let's talk about the movement and I told you I was going to give you a little history lesson uh, since we're on it. Now, the old movement was a 3120 movement, and it, it was 26 millimeters in diameter and it had 280 parts. Now, keep that in mind. Remember those numbers. Caliber 3120, diameter 26 millimeters, 280 parts. The new movement, the five, which is a 5900 movement, which is what you see here, has 180 parts and has a diameter of 26 millimeters. It has 100 parts less in this movement, this caliber 5900, than the one it replaced, the 3120 movement. Now, the 3120 movement was used in a lot of different watches, and it was it been used for a very long time. The big difference aesthetically is the old movement the 3120 movement had a rotor that was that did not have any cutaways it was a beautiful movement don't get me wrong it was it was well fitted to the watch both are 26 millimeters in diameter which is important because you don't want the, the movement to look too small but it did not have a cutaway on the rotor and if you look at this one it has a cutaway now why would you, why would a cutaway be important or not important? Well, I think it just makes the the rotor itself look more new school, makes makes it look more up to date, and it and just in my opinion, it just it just looks better. I like the way that the cutaway rotor looks. Now this watch happens to be the 50th. It's not going to make any difference. Uh, everything else I said except this rotor. Now the rotor on on this one is. It says the 50th, obviously, but the rotor on a non 50th will just simply say AP and it will be in gold as opposed to this one. OK, so so that that is a difference. But aside from that, there's there's no other difference. Uh, what I can say about the rotor itself, why do I like this cutaway? Well, if you look at the edges of this rotor, it's beautifully done. It's has a, a very nice a polish to it and uh, of course, it, it's uh, it just looks really nice. And also, why I like the cutaway is that, is that you can see the movement beneath it because the rotor is not blocking it because it's cut away. All right, so that is the the movement. I guess I've talked to you about every part, so it's time for me to try this watch on. My my wrist is seven point five inches, and I am two hundred pounds, so it's six foot tall. 
So what do I think about this watch? As I've kind of been telling you this whole time, I think it's a great watch for men that have a wrist size of seven inches or smaller, probably equates to a person who is 150 pounds or smaller. Uh, and for a woman, I, I actually prefer the ones with diamonds, but if you're a woman that wants to have an AP that's not so flashy, you could also consider this one. Uh, AP is one of my favorite brands. It's a, it's just a fantastic watch and Royal Oak is their, their best seller. And it, it there's a, it's for all, for obvious reasons, it's a beautiful watch. So anyways, if you'd like to buy it, I, I have to give this watch two thumbs up, by the way. Um, if you haven't heard me before, I just think it's a fantastic watch. So anyways, if you want to buy it, click on the link in the, in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online at jazztime.com. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.